Lightning is caused when liquid and ice particles collide in a storm, building up an electrical charge. It is both amazing and deadly, and for places like Pantex, it can bring work to a grinding halt. Well, there are operations at Pantex where you do not want a lightning strike or any large energies striking the ground. So it's best that uh, certain operations need to halt. In the past, in an effort to be overly conservative, any hint of lightning within 30 miles would shut down the plant. Being able to more accurately pinpoint area lightning means less downtime. We already have a couple of lightning uh, systems, but they are very overly conservative. So we're bringing the lightning map array, LMA, and the optical lightning detection system, the OLDS, on board and going to bring them up to newly approved credited safety systems. The Lightning Mapping Array, or LMA, uses ground sensors that detect the lightning activity that's taking place within a storm, dissecting a storm to determine its height, intensity, and if lightning will be a factor in the area. Our technology will allow us to actually look at what we're receiving on radar and confirm, okay, there's electrification there, we really need to be concerned with this, or just go, oh, that's just, some dense cloud activity, uh, it doesn't really make sense for us to go into uh, lightning warnings. The Optical Lightning Detection System, or OLDS, takes photos of actual lightning strikes at Pantex, which allows engineers to track down potential problems. Once we develop the, the software that triangulates these strikes, there's no reason an OLDS type system couldn't be located in Amarillo. It's where if a lightning strike hit a house, you would know which house it hit. I really think we're building a meteorologist's playground. Currently, there are LMAs in Oklahoma City, Lubbock, and Albuquerque, but funding is in place to create an LMA corridor across the panhandle. So by the NNSA funding these projects, um, we will be filling in a gap and we will be sharing that information to all the National Weather Service, to the television stations, to the radio stations, so that not only can we predict where lightning is going to occur, so can they. A record of decision was signed last year that allows Pantex to share its lightning data with the National Weather Service and in turn, the general public.